welcome. So you come here often? Whatever fantasies you have about you and I are not going to happen. Now, come on now, I have to know your story. From what I understand, women like to tell it. Brad Sylvester. You have a lot of experience with women, Mr. Sylvester. Enough? Well, you know, just being uh, friendly with a fellow traveler. CEO day and night poker. You look like a woman who enjoys games. Really? Enjoy the weather. It changes all the time. Yes, I've, I've been to Africa before. Photographer, Canadian press. And I promise I will not hit on you. But only because I've got a killer deadline to make. Good enough reason. Yes, oh, no, I cannot have... The Irish hammer fighting Hebrew Mick at Caesars on the state. Why, Vasily? Why? Da, conflict. Also, we have fashion show. Yes, women with large uh, sash bathing suits. Thank you. Did I invest in this idea to make money? Don't hunt us at Vasily. I will kick you in the throat. Right in the throat. Get this one right or polish your resume. Ay, 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 ay. <sighs> My apologies. Totally unseemly. Pyotr Glasov, CEO of DCC. Look, please accept this. Comes to the title bout this month in Atlantic City. You too, my skinny supermodel. You have a man in your life? He like fun? He has socks? This will blow them off. DCC. Death cage competition. Ah, of course. Thank you, Mr. Glasov. Please, call me Frank. You've never heard of DCC? Just a matter of time. Fastest growing sport in the world. Faster than online poker? Poker did. This is future. Vasily, give me good news. Yes, bathing suit. They cover the parts the sun doesn't shine. Uh, no thanks. That cage match crap is a sign of the apocalypse. Couldn't agree more. Um, are you interested? Actually, I was gonna give you mine. The only men I know are the ones who buy tickets to Comic-Con in San Diego a year in advance. Much better breed. Charlotte Benoit. Helen Magnus. What brings you here? Oh, you know, the uh, dependable weather. You? Work. I've been on Madagascar for the past three months studying lemur migration. Their population patterns, their diet changes. Lemurs. Wonderful animals. Very versatile. Um, scent glands in their paws, if I'm right. Okay, I'm definitely getting a scientist vibe from you. Are you here on research, too? I wish. No, I'm meeting someone. Well, that's very mysterious, isn't it? Search him. Jasky. The tower is down. You took care of the last two ground crew. Radio, phone, radar, the whole place is sealed off. Look, if it's our belongings you want, I'm sure there's some arrangement that we can hey. come. Queen of England. Zip it. Boss? Broad's got a piece. That's a nice one, too. And a knife. Wow. That's my kind of girl. Bitch. Nichols, relax. She's an alpha dog. <laughs> you just got too close. Making my dog. Tyler, how long? 60 seconds and we're hot. So, 
This here is a two-way street, people. We have a secure link to every major bank and financial institution in the world. And that's our part. Your job is to give us your account transit numbers. You give us the right numbers, we transfer the funds, you all keep breathing. You all start getting forgetful, we start shooting you. How, how are we supposed to remember our transit numbers? I mean, I use an ATM half the time. Yes, and I phone my cousin in Kiev for money stuff. And guess what begs for douching? I'm not phoning no one. Are you guys like the stupidest criminals of all time? I mean, who remembers their transfer numbers? I make $50,000 a year before taxes. And I'm Canadian. Get the picture? <laughs> The only reason you are on this hole of an island during rainy season is because of business. Business that you would like to keep under the radar. Means you have access to lots of money. Money which is now mine. Numbers. Citibank, 929-639-989. Checking, 639-787-786, personal line of credit. Checks out, boss. Guy's got about 190K in there. Or should I say, hard. Give me my phone, I'll make a call. And what about you, sweet jinx? I can't remember it. That is very unfortunate for you. She's a research scientist. What are you gonna do, steal a pension plan? I don't hear any digits coming out of you, Miss Concealed Weapon. Barclays, 7652360. Satisfied? Tyler, am I satisfied? Um, kinda. Do the numbers check out or not? Yeah, they check out, but across three accounts, she's got $209. She's broke, boss. You know, women and money. <laughs> Hot and broke, just the way I like them. We could make an arrangement, you and me. Stay down here, you're all dead! Tyler, hold your fire! your team has they come in handy at least the government thought so until about two months ago your ex-military black ops let me guess cia or nsa wherever whenever but with powers like that how could you lose in iraq because they'd be totally unstable as soldiers she sounds like my psych officer so the army found you and trained you until... Until a couple of uptight suits in D.C. decided that our services were no longer needed. Couldn't just let you go, though, could they? Oh. Not knowing what you're capable of, they tried to kill you. Being decommissioned wasn't exactly an attractive option. What, and now you, you rip people off for a living? Why don't you come and work for me? We could make a lot of money. Or not. And these people here are pretty freaked out about our talents. Except for you. I don't impress easily. I don't like women with secrets. You'll hate me. <laughs> Chesky, one of these folks has a plane hidden somewhere. Find it, please. really be your plan? Land here, steal money from random travelers? You're after Felice. Who's Felice? Well, we can stop pretending. 
They all know we're here to meet him. It was obvious as soon as they started asking for our banking information. But why else would anyone be on this crop hole of an island? Lemurs. I've been studying lemurs. I swear I don't know who this Felice person is. Felice is a man with access to a lot of money. And when he lands, he's going to turn it all over to us. I imagine some of the cash that Felice controls is yours, right? Oh, she looks mad now. Tyler. Radar. Setting it up, boss. I'm like you. Frank, you get bread. Clear? Clear. Well, what are you gonna do? Just stay close to me, all right? Sorry. 890 kilometers out. ETA? Uh, speed and headwind an hour, maybe less. Mr. Sylvester. My head. My suit. Quiet. Can you walk? Can you be nicer? Hands where I can see him. Put the gun down! I'm assuming someone with X-ray vision is worth more than a few hostages. You want Mr. Feliz, good luck with that, but these people and I are leaving. Oh, I knew you had a ride. Inside, move. Chesky tried to jack the Brit's plane. Triggered some kind of auto-destruct. Pretty slick. We jammed all transmissions in the LZ. She's cut off from the outside. That's not good enough. I want to take a nap. You know, you, you act like quite the badass, but her plane just took out two of your people, and now she's out there getting her James Bond on. You know, I would characterize that as an epic fail, my man. I may be bulletproof, but I don't like getting shot. You feel me? So, this woman knows weapons, is a trained fighter. What is she, British intelligence? She's never told me what business she's in. I only met her an hour ago. What's her name? I don't think she told us. Banker, she's got to be someone with money. <laughs> uh, you know, this woman, she's more than someone with just cash. She's got you all scared. CQ, this is Comoros Airport, requesting emergency assistance on all channels. Sorry about your plane. 
Sorry about your men. My guess is they tried to hit it with an EM pulse to get on board. Bad idea makes it explode. Fun as it was, doesn't really change anything. Feliz will never land here, mainly because your men murdered the entire air traffic control crew. With the setup that we have, he will never notice the difference. You just blew up my plane. You don't think he'll notice that from the air? It's Helen, right? You seem very determined to ruin my day. Maybe I should return the favor. Harm anyone else and I promise you will regret it. Surrender now and they might live. I have a better offer. Let everyone else go and I might consider letting you and your team leave here alive. Think it over. It's not a bad offer. Like she was never born. No alias hits, no matching profiles for a Helen Magnus. If that's a real name. Real enough for her to have a bank account. Someone's covering her tracks, wiping the data from the Intel community. And whoever's doing it's good. There's no sign of her. Maybe she bugged out, hitched a ride to the nearest town? <laughs> Not likely. Run backgrounds on the others. Starting with, uh, Mr. Poker Guy here, Brad Sylvester. Sure, I'll see if I can find anything on the Echelon Secure Club. like someone wasn't being entirely truthful. Mr. CIA field agent. <laughs> oh, I worked with your kind in Iraq, Afghanistan, Yemen. Spooks always had access to slush funds, operational cash, hush money. And seeing as they tried to kill us, I think Uncle Sam owes us some reparations, huh? It makes me wonder what the other two are hiding. You got any secrets, sweetheart? Everything's dead. It's impossible. I'm on battery power here. She's hit us with an EM pulse. Just give me a target. Bingo. 21 meters. There. Professor next. No, take me next, take me next. I I'll tell you everything. I'll tell you everything! I don't know anything. I don't know anything! Let go of me! <laughs> listen! Listen! Okay. I'm just a teacher. I don't have any secrets. Baby. Everyone has secrets. Please. Don't hurt me. You're right. She was gonna kill me. Pain in the ass, isn't she? I've met worse. Great. Let's 
get out of here. Are you all right? Let me have a look at you. I I'm fine, I'm fine. But look at you, you're, you're a mess. You're covered in lacerations. I'm fine. I've been through worse. You keep saying that. You've been through worse. You've seen worse. You sound like an old woman. I am an old woman. What's your deal, anyway? You're being totally cryptic about being here. It's, you went diehard on these guys. What are you, a spy, an agent or something? A doctor. Of ass kicking. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Look, Charlotte, I'm really sorry that you got mixed up in this. And I'm not being glib when I say this, but I think we can solve this situation if we work together. Are you up for it? I'm in. Great. Come on. If you knocked out the radar, shouldn't that stop this police guy from landing? They'll find a way around it, believe me. If we can retake the terminal, we can free everyone and warn police that he's flying into a trap. Here, take this. I don't mean to be difficult or anything, but is there any way we can do this without me having to shoot someone or get shot? Possibly. Yes. We're hot again. Thomas Tower, I repeat, this is Rancho 6390, one five miles west for one way one. Hey, Good timing. Rancho 639er. This is Commerce Tower. Good evening. Wind is 090 zero at 11. One. Altimeter is 3002, and you are cleared to land at runway one. Runway one, Commerce Tower. Roger that. See you in five minutes. Come on in. Chumps. How can those people have those freaky powers? They're like, they're like super villains. Every exceptional ability has a weakness. Believe me. Okay, what about X-ray guy? Most likely, his eyes are sensitive to our body's thermal heat signatures. And the woman with the sonic scream? Unique vocal cords. It's all explainable by science. Okay, but bulletproof man? Super resilient epidermis. Likely a result of the military's attempt to weaponize abnormals. Idiots. And you know all of this because... <coughs> Another time. In the meantime, we need to level the playing field somewhat. I'm gonna need to use your shirt. Still gaining altitude, boss. Banking west. Looks like something went sideways. Well, perhaps your plan wasn't so brilliant after all. Well, hold on. Still banking west, but altitude steady at 9,000 feet. He's not leaving. Which means that there is something down here that he wants. Well done. Now the others. If we can create a distraction, we can draw those men away from the hostages. I can't. You'll be fine, Charlotte. I lied to you. About what? Remember when I said I was studying lemurs? <laughs> More like I'm studying their reaction to a specific deadly virus. Last one we haven't checked. Belongs to the professor, Chick. Well, well. And you're telling me this now? I had to know that I could trust you. 
<laughs> well, I'm glad we got that sorted. Just how deadly is this virus? If a small sample gets released, it'll wipe out everyone on this island. And half the coast of Africa. Uh, it's complicated, okay? So, your plan was to sell it to Felice. How noble. I wasn't gonna sell it, I was gonna give it to him. The government, the black market, nobody should get a hold of this virus. Felice contacted me and said that he could hide it. I don't care about money. I just don't want it to get in the wrong hands. So where is it right now? Maybe, maybe you want to be careful with it, my friend. It looks like bad news. That's what I'm counting on. If Felice wants it, someone else will want it too. And for better money. You're insane. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks to your girlfriend, this day hasn't been an entire waste. You cannot let that virus out onto the open market. Now, if you want to negotiate a price, you and I can talk, but only after you've let everyone else go. <laughs> Tyler, warm up the plane. We're bugging out. I listened to her. That virus makes Ebola look like the common cold. Millions could die if it gets released. So, if I were to drop this on the island from my plane, it would really suck for you. Oh, my God. You wouldn't. I'm selling a new weapon. I need to test it out, don't I? Nasty way to go. I'll shoot myself first. Who's with me? Yeah, it's better to die in a hemorrhagic fever. That won't be necessary. Wait for it. What the hell happened? It was not a virus they stole. Pure nitroglycerin. I use it to stabilize samples. Take it up in an unpressurized plane and... Is there a virus? And here, carrying a dormant strain in your own bloodstream. It's very risky. It's better than a pink suitcase. You're crazy. You know that, both of you. Are you kidding? I love you guys. Thank you. But you can lose the accent now, Mr. Felice. You can call me Richard. I thought the Russian accent was rather good. It was. It was more I suspected <laughs> there was a reason that your plane hung around in spite of the carnage. It made sense that its owner was here on the ground. And the ruse? Good question, Bradley. You see, I prefer to meet potential clients in a more um, informal manner before taking them on. And may I say, Dr. Magnus, that thanks to my resources, your financial future will be very healthy for quite some time. Thank you, Richard. What a day! How incredible! I sorry, feel my heart. It's so exciting. As soon as my plane lands, the drinks are definitely on me because we have much to discuss. Mm. <laughs> You sure know how to show a girl a good time. I try. Thank you for, you know. Don't mention it. You're very brave. Here's Richard's plane. Are you sure you can't stay for a day or two? Relax, hang out. Yeah, see, the thing about me is I really just hang out. Like that in a very long time. 